Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ashraf al mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidiya Rasulul Kareem ya Habibul Azim. Madadiya Sayyidiya Sultan al-Alim al Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani, Sayyidiya Shaykh Muhammad Azim Ad al-Hakani, Mawlana Shaykh Hisham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad al-Adi, Ma'abd al-Khalik al-Khulj al-Wali. Sahab Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi wa sallam wa Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina alayhi wa sallam. Thumma Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi wa sallam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidatina Fatima alayhi wa sallam, wa Sayyid wa Sadatina wa Siddiqina al-Fatiha. Shabbatiya Rasul Kareem, Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Fawzu Billahi Min Shaitan Al Radeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself, An Abduk Al Aji, Sadaifa, Miskeen, Azan, Abu Jahanim, but for the grace of Allah Azawajal that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us this life to enter into the holy month of Safar and the realities of the month of Safar, the realities of 18 and the realities of Hayat and an eternal life when entering into the cave of realities that Allah wants for us to ride to a physical location that like the youths of Ashab al-Kahf had a belief and they took themselves to run towards Allah and leave that which the dunya was representing. InshaAllah al shahid we'll recite from Surat al-Kahf <coughs> a few ayat al kareem inshaAllah from Ashab al-Kahf begins the information on verse 9 and just a few verses inshaAllah and then we'll go into that till 12 inshaAllah. Verse 9 through 12 of Ashab al-Kahf from Surat al-Kahf 18. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir raheem. Am hasibta. As salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أَنَّ أَصْحَابَ الْكَهْفِ وَالرَّقِيمِ كَانُوا مِنْ آيَاتِنَا عَجَبًا إِذْ أَوَى الْفِطْيَةُ إِلَى الْكَهْفِ فَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا آتِنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً وَهَيْهِ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رَشَدًا فَضَرَبْنَا عَلَىٰ آذَانِهِمْ فِي الْكَهْفِ سِنِينَ عَدَدًا ثُمَّ بَعَثْنَاهُمْ لِنَعْلَمَ عَيُّ الْحِزْبَيْنِ أَحْصَى لِمَا لَبِثُوا أَمَدًا صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ In the of the Rasul al-Kareem, uh, yeah, yeah, can you recite the English from 9 to 12 inshaAllah?
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Have you, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, thought that the people of the cave were the only wonders of our signs? Remember when those youths took refuge in the cave and said, Our Lord, grant us mercy from yourself and guide us rightly through our or ordeal. So we caused them to sleep, to fall into a dead sleep in the cave for many years. Then we raised them so we may show which of the two groups would make a better estimation of the length of their stay. We relate to you, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, their story and truth. They were youths who truly believed in their Lord and we increased them in guidance. And we strengthened their hearts when they stood up and declared, Our Lord is the Lord of heavens and the earth. We will never call upon any God besides Him or we would truly be uttering an outrageous lie. Then they said to one another, these people of ours have taken gods besides him. Why do they not produce a clear proof of them? Who then does more wrong than those who fabricate lies against Allah? Since you have distanced yourselves from them and what they worship besides Allah, take refuge in the cave. Your Lord will extend his mercy to you and accommodate you in your or ordeal. And you would have seen the sun as it rose, inclining away from, the ca from their cave to the right, and as it set, declining from them to the left, while they lay in its open space. That is one of the signs of Allah. Whoever Allah guides is truly guided, but whoever He leaves to stray, you will not, never find for them a guiding mentor. And you would have thought they were awake, though they were asleep. We turned them over to the right and left while their dog stretched his forelegs at the entrance. Had you looked at them, you would have certainly fled away from them, filled with horror. That Allah granted for us to enter into the month of Safa and that the Holy Qur'an guiding us to this uh, immense ocean of mercy and rahmah in which the example of people of authority in a time of immense ignorance and that they had a worshipness for Allah but the overwhelming tide of oppression was basically pushing them, you have to believe in what we believe. And they felt themselves they'll lose their faith if they stay any longer amongst that ruler and that their practices would be banned. So Allah describes then they left they retreated to a cave and their request is to Allah is grant us from yourself a mercy and prepare for us our affairs wa amran rashadan rushd that the commands in which that the amr the command that will grant us to become rushed, mean to be ripened, to be brought to the state of perfection. And we describe that Allah is teaching this system of the path of Ashab al Kaf in which all the tariqahs they are flowing through this reality. And that's why the soul of tariqahs, if they don't know it or their teachers and their masters don't know it, the soul of tariqahs, Naqshbandiyat al Aliyah, so from the Naqshbandi masters are teaching that in this second month Surat al Kahf is guiding us and reminding for us those whom Allah want to guide that first they have to be brought, brought into a presence of rahmah that their character has to be a dress of rahmah and mercy. Not the character of seeking scholarly knowledge and Islamic jurisprudence and all sorts of laws without having first attained a mercy. That Allah is going to repeat through this holy surah the state of these saintly souls in which they first attained a mercy and many years the teaching is the mercy of Allah is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Means that the, the light and the love of the prophetic reality has to be taught to the servant, the student of this reality. That is the foundation of their existence. So Muharram was the humility and tawbah 
Surat al-Safar is then the development and to become rightly guided. And the foundation of rightly guidance and righteous guidance is then to have that mercy be first be put upon them. That the foundation of everything you're going to learn has to be based on an immense love and rahmah, mercy. If the heart has no mercy and tries to build the foundation of law and religious law and dogma without first having attained a rahmah there's a great likelihood of becoming extreme and harsh and not soft, not guided the way Allah wants guidance. That's why again always describing in Surat Al-Kahf that one of my servants who attained the rahmah and then we taught him knowledges. The Ashab Al-Kahf and the reason this is coming before the story of Sayyidina Khidr and Nabi Musa because Allah is guiding us that first attain your rahmah, first leave the satanic kingdom and ask like they asked, Ya Rabbi that we're asking to leave what they worship and that we're asking to enter into this cave of mercy and grant me so that I attain a mercy, attain the presence and the nearness because Ayatul Kareem is also then with guidance is teaching us how to achieve this. How to achieve Allah's mercy first is by awliya coming and teaching you have to have the love of Prophet By the salawats, by the practices, by being of service, all that we can do to get the nazar, the holy guidance or the, the Divinely grace and the vision of the prophetic reality to watch upon us, to look upon us is by being exemplars of faith by being of service, putting our faith in action, having a love and kindness and a mercy and as a result then Allah the next they ask is then Amr Rashidan that give us from the Amr that will make us to be rushed, to be ripened, to be sweetened, to be brought into perfection. And that becomes the reality of entering into the, the cave of rahmah and mercy. We pray that Allah dress us from the immensities of the cave of mercy and to be granted from these lights and these blessings and that Allah expand our hearts and its understanding. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.